Stain Bear. <laughs> Small bit of news, just in. Parallel universes exist, and we're living in a different one than we did in our childhoods. I don't know if you guys heard, but apparently at some point in the last decade or so, a large number of us got shifted to a parallel universe, and the Berenstein Bears proved that. I'm Gabe Ho-Writer, and do parallel universes exist? Sure. But are some of us actually from a parallel universe and somehow got shifted into this one? That's a much bigger question. Let's find out. This is Hashtag News. Now we all remember the lovable Berenstein Bears of our youth, that furry nuclear family with wholesome all-American names like Papa, Mama, Sister, Brother. Very creative. But it's their other name that's causing all this controversy. Apparently, everyone remembers that it's spelled Berenstein, E-I-N, but according to the publisher and writers, it's never been spelled that way. It's always been Berenstein, A-I-N. Take a moment and rack your own memory. Do you spell it E-I-N? If so, you're like most people. If you spell it A-I-N, then you're clearly part of the cover-up. Now, some people have noticed this strange phenomenon before, but rapper, producer, and admitted pothead LP stumbled across this crazy idea and brought it back into life. The Berenstein Bear Theory, as it's known, posits that at some point in the last 10 years, our universe crossed over with an alternate parallel universe where the Bear family name is known as Stain, not Steen. Now, it's not just low-level rappers that are pushing this idea. A graduate student of physics put some elbow grease into really trying to show that reality has been tampered with and history has been retroactively changed. He claims that somehow our universe rotated by pi over two, kind of like 90 degrees, and while most things line up, just some things are different, like the spelling of these beloved bears' last names. Now, as for me, personally, I do remember it being Baron Steen. I mean, it just makes sense. There are so many famous Steens. Einstein, Frankenstein, R.L. Steen. That's not how you say those. Okay, nice try, but I can only handle one conspiracy theory at a time, please. So if that's not their last name, then what is real? Now, if you go do your homework, look at the pictures of the book covers, they all show the name as Baron Steen, with an A, and the TV show confirms this. The Baron Steen Bears. The Baron Steen Bears though her accent doesn't help clear any of this up. But there is some evidence of a possible Berenstein past and subsequent cover. -up. A Reddit user claims to have pictures of lots of evidence, but for some reason, his posts have been mysteriously deleted. Another piece of evidence, a TV guide from the 1980s, and a few other instances of the EIN spelling. Now, while some may say that the Reddit user is lying, the pictures are photoshopped, and that the other stuff could just simply be typos, I think that they're, they're, they're probably right. And if they really were rewriting Berenstein history, I think they probably would have gone back and erased this blatantly racist book where Papa Bear hates pandas. Look at his face. He's so mad that they're different. So why are we even talking about this? Simply put, huge amounts of people clearly remember it as steam. So how can this happen? It's called the Mandela Effect, where a large group of people have vivid memories of a specific event, even if that event isn't historically accurate. It's named for a similar phenomenon where in the 80s, a lot of people remembered that South African activist Nelson Mandela died in prison. But as we know from history, this didn't actually happen. Mandela eventually gained his freedom, was a very prominent social justice figure and grew old enough to look so much like Morgan Freeman, right? I mean, that's pretty uncanny. They could be brothers or the same person. This could be another parallel universe intertwining. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. And you know the portrait of King Henry VIII in royal regalia holding up a big turkey leg? People have even parodied the portrait since then and referenced it regularly when talking about King Henry VIII, but that portrait does not exist. Everyone who thinks so has been duped by... Morgan Freeman, the magician of the parallel universes. Some people swear that New Zealand is located north of Australia, when really it's southeast. Just looking at a map would solve that problem. So is this proof that parallel universes exist and we just hop between them? No. Some people just have bad memories. The universe isn't crashing or exploding or dying. Uh, actually... Okay, well, still, it probably is Berenstain, and we just have been saying it wrong forever. It's like the word niche. Niche. Thank you. It's impossible to find a consensus, so let's just let people say it either way and pretend like it's all the same. Oh, except if they say Bernstein. That's never right. Shame those people. Okay, well, hopefully that helped you figure out something. Uh, but I'm not a total killjoy, okay? If you want to see other times that the universe has brain farted, you can see all kinds of weird little happenstances on the subreddit Glitch in the Matrix or Mandela Effect. Let us know in the comments what your favorite universe glitches are and if you think it's Berenstain or Berenstein. And subscribe for more universe stuff, whether it's Parallel, Dying, or Marvel Cinematic. We do a lot of Marvel stuff here. I'm Gabe Ho-Writer, and now that that's all answered, I've got a question that I've always wanted answered. What's Mama Bear gonna look like when she gets out of the PJs and into some nightlife attire? <laughs> I mean, oh, I mean, uh, oh, oh, she's a bear.